Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about algebraic and numeric expressions, and we're going to evaluate using the values given. So, if I was given this expression, p times q divided by 3 minus p. And they want us to use p to equal negative 6 and q to equal negative 3. All right, so what I want to do here is I need to substitute uh, negative 6 for p and q to be negative 3. So I'm going to rewrite this just to p times right in the middle here, q divided by 3 minus p. Now, every single time I see the letter p, I have to put a negative 6 in. So I see a, a, a p up here. I'm going to put parentheses around stuff that I substitute in. Then we have a q. I see a q. I'll put a negative 3 in for a q. So we have negative 3 here divided by 3 minus this p becomes a negative 6. Okay? So again, I put parentheses around everything that I substituted in. Just kind of know that I substituted that in. So again, p became a negative 6, q negative 3, and this p negative 6. So now we simplify. Well, the negative 6 on the outside really can't do anything yet. Wait, wait till we simplify inside this big parenthesis. Negative 3 divided by a negative 3, that becomes first, that's division, is a negative 1. So we have a negative 1 here, and now that minus, a negative, became the same, the same thing as adding a positive. So we have a positive, adding a positive, 6 right there. So negative 6 is still on the outside, don't really need the parenthesis there. Multiplication, negative 1 plus 6 is a positive 5. So now we have negative 6 times a positive 5, which is just a negative 30. And so our final answer here is just a negative 30. So let's recap. We're given p times parentheses q divided by 3 minus p and parentheses. And we use p equal to negative 6 and q to be a negative 3. So I rewrote the problem, the first part here. And then I substituted negative 6 negative six for my p's and a negative 3 for my q's. And there's only one q but two p's. I showed them in parentheses, showed that I substituted them in. Then from there I simplified it. Alright, this is the basic simplification there. Division inside this big parenthesis first, inside there division was first. So negative 3 divided by 3 was a negative 1. They subtracted a negative 6 became a plus a positive 6, so I put that there. Negative 1 plus 6 became a 5. Negative 6, that was just on the outside, it stayed there and it came down. So we had negative 6 times 5, which is a negative 30. And so that again is our final answer, a negative 30.